Welcome to Me and My Golf TV and you've joined us at the amazing Grand Del Mar in Southern California, San Diego on our Take Charge Tour. Yes, and today we're going to be showing you a very simple, effective way to hold more putts. Let's take charge of your game. Okay, so welcome to Grand Del Mar and welcome to part three of our videos here with Derek. Derek Oida, let's have a handshake there. Good to see you, good to see you, for sure. My so, pleasure. Guys, you know, really got some good stuff we're going to be filming today, so make sure you check out our part one and our part two and our course log of Grand Del Mar with Derek as well. Amazing facility and got some really good tips which are going to help your game, whether it be from hitting the ball in the fairway, from controlling the distances on your wedges, to number one, putting. This, putting, is, this is where it's at. Yep, putting, green reading in, in particular, not necessarily some of the avenues that you've seen on TV with the guys, you know, uh -huh. doing the fingers and whatnot. But um, something, something relatively simple that everybody can go out and use basically today. Yeah. Uh, the minute that you see this, you can, you can employ it and use it as an avenue to confirm or um, tell you whether or not your, your, your individual reading technique is working or not. So. No, absolutely right. And when, when myself and Andy, and I'm sure it's the same for yourself, Derek, when we take students out to the golf course and we see them, they, they actually come to us and say their driving's bad. And, well, we can help their driving a little bit. They get on the putting green and we're going, oh, my goodness, what's yeah. going on here? Yeah. So we need to work at that. I mean, mechanics can be one thing, but I think green reading is vitally important. Yeah. And we see so many people who read greens badly. And what are the common mistakes that you see when people are on the greens? Well, when they're green reading, should I say, sorry. Yeah, the biggest mistake that, that the amateurs make is under reading. So they'll look at a putt and they'll say, we have a putt here from about 12 feet um, with quite a bit of tilt. Um, they might say, well, I see this, you know, one cup to the left of the hole or a cup and a half to the left of the hole when it's really a foot and a half mm -hmm. to two feet left of the hole. Now, they might not start it a cup and a half to the left, um, but they're seeing it that way. Okay. So um, where you stand when you read the green, yeah, yeah. when you read your putt is going to make a difference. Um, but really, a, a simple, a very simple way of doing it is what we're going to do now. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at this. Then. So, so basically, we've got this putt, like we said, and, and most people would read this particular putt as being, you know, like I said, maybe a cup to a cup and a half outside the left edge. Yeah. And so Andy is going to place the ball where he sees it, not necessarily where... The viewers yeah, see yeah. it, right? And he's a skilled golfer. And he's, he's a skilled, skilled golfer. golfer. He's played. Sometimes. He's, he's <laughs> you know, he's a pro, okay? So he's reading quite a bit of break. What I see when I teach even some good college players and really good juniors and, and, and mini tour players, they'll read this exact same putt right here. So a technique that you can employ is if I hit this putt perfectly straight at the hole at a distance where the ball would basically come to rest somewhere near the hole, maybe a little bit past, where would the ball miss? So as you track that out and you go, okay, well, my ball is going to go straight for a little while and then it's going to start curving, 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 curving. I think it's going to miss somewhere down here. Well, why the heck would you play the ball here if you think it would miss yeah. here? So you could kind of take that spot and move it out roughly. Yeah. Um, and, and, probably have a better go at, at, at holding this putt. I think you're right, and exactly what you said here. It's very simple, this is, and, and because the majority of people will underborrow, right. let's say if you get this a little bit exaggerated and you go a little bit too far right. to the left, that's not a problem, because those putts can still go in. Yep. As soon yep. as you underborrow, yep. you've got to do something freaky with the old stroke to get yep. it in the hole. So. And the reality is that every putt that misses on the low side of the hole never had a chance to go Never in. had a chance, no, absolutely. Right. So if it misses high, maybe it was speed, um, but... Generally speaking, that's what, what they yeah. call it, the pro side and the amateur yeah, side. The yeah. pros miss it on the high side and the amps. Yeah. To me, a miss is a miss. I don't yeah. care what side it misses <laughs> on. But, but the reality is, you know, this is what we see teaching players. Yeah. This is what the pros see, right? And if you can get a better idea of seeing what the pros see, yeah. you're going to hold more putts. Absolutely. It's a very yeah. simple way just to look at that in terms of, not many people would even think about no. actually hitting a put and how much it would go yeah, to the, how much it to would the low side. So right. everyone's always looking to the, to the high side. Right. So it's a simple way that you can just, you know, give you that rough idea of how far to aim to the, right. okay. the, you know, the correct side. So should we see how good I think is? Should, Yeah, you know what we should see this, definitely. <laughs> okay, right. Let's see what he's like. Let's see if he's read it right. So we'll move all this out of the way. Pressure's on. Hmm? Can he start it online? So that's the other half of it. Can he start it online at the right speed? Good luck.
Oh, that wasn't bad. That pretty doggone good. good. I've actually mind. just thought whilst doing the video there, I don't think you had a practice putt to that either. That was quite good. That was a really good, good putt. <laughs> well, so how many times do you get over a putt, you hit it, and immediately you go, oh my god, I missed it. And you already start walking, whereas that putt, you're like, oh, come on. Yeah, yeah mm. come on, keep going, break, mm. break, break. And it's, and it's like, it's this has a chance. A chance. A yeah. chance. Instead yeah. of hitting it and immediately going, oh, that, that has no chance. And then it misses low and long, and then we three putt from 12 feet instead of, you know, your partner, your competitor knocking it back to you saying that's good. And now they have Absolutely. pressure to hold a three, four footer. Yeah. Right. And you can see that, you know, totally that makes that makes total sense. You know, it makes the whole rest of the game a lot oh. easier. Takes the pressure these, off. These three or four footers which are going on the low side. And it's interesting that, you know, the left to right put, you know, for a right handed golfer generally is the one that actually yep. people will actually miss more on the yep. low side. You know, the right to left one then maybe not so bad. Right. But this is the one where you see it. The right. What a simple way. Is, is it that simple? Put it. Can it be that simple? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. And one last shameless plug. Oh yes, come on, go for it. Um, there's a there's a way for all of us to get better. Yeah. Right. And we all need help. Yeah. So from all the viewers to people that haven't seen you guys yet or haven't seen me, um, there are pros out there that can help us. Yeah. Right. So we all need to help each other. And there's a website called Golf MDs. Golf MDs. Um, that that will be being uh, launched here shortly. And it's a social media website, like Facebook, for potential golf instructors to get in touch with potential students. Yeah. And so all you have to do is click on your area, your zip code, whatever, if you're in the United States, or I don't know how it works in post the UK. Goes, but post codes, yeah. Right? So, so what, what pro is close to me? Because it's no longer word of mouth anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, it's we're we're in the young people's age where it's all computers and yeah. so golf MDs is going to be a great place for for you to find a pro um, you know like like ourselves yeah. that are close to you that you can get along with you can you can see what they're talking about you can read what they're talking about and what their ideas are and, and find somebody that matches matches you so okay. golf MDs is going to be uh, so yeah golf MDs. live Have we, got a... uh, we we hope it's going to start somewhat at the beginning of next year okay. Um, so keep your eye out for it, Golf MDs. It's going to be it's going to be good for the game of just golf. Just ready for the season. We'll put that yeah, link right? in the description. Yeah. So we'll you put the links in there. Take a look as much and as click can. on that there as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Derek. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. You've been Very brilliant much. today. Thanks it. for having us Thanks. here at uh, Grand Del Mar. Again, we'll put the links in here for the, for this place as well. You need to see this if you want to stay here. You know, very much recommend it. Very Absolutely. Much recommend it. That's heaven on earth. Heaven yeah. on earth. I agree. Guys, thanks for watching.